Hey there, welcome to Cooch Ball on the Wall. It's Jana back with you, and we are going to be working on a Pilates leg inspired Cooch Ball on the Wall session today. <laughs> I think I need to vacuum my floor. Okay, besides that, um, I have taught Pilates for almost 20 years. Pilates is what got me out of my pain journey, off my 11 medications um, every single day when I was in my early 20s. And so the Pilates um, leg sequence or what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be, you know, you need your, you need your cooch ball. Um, you need to be near a wall. We're going to use the wall a little bit. And I want you to make sure, as you know, that your cooch ball has a little bit of squish to it. We're going to do a little bit of a warm up. I want you to sit on the floor, cross legged if you can. You can be sitting up on cushions. And we're just going to move the flesh of the butt out of the way. All right. And I want you to feel grounded through the floor. And then I want you to bring your weight back in space because often our posture is a little too far forward. We have really tight hip flexor muscles, and this is where we live, right? Uh, so I want you to come back in space. And I want you to feel how when you do come back in space, your core just really supports you, all right? And I want you to inhale through your nose and exhale out of your mouth. Inhale through your nose and exhale out of your mouth. Two more like that. Inhale through your nose. So we're prepping the body. And exhale. And one more time, breathe in. And exhale out. So I want you to grab just onto the fronts of your knees. And we're going to be rolling the pelvis a little bit, rolling through the pelvis. So inhale through your nose. You feel those sit bones beneath. You know, you're going to exhale and just do a little bit of a shift back. So the shift back wasn't like a lean back. It was a tuck of the tailbone back. And then you restack your spine like blocks. You exhale and tuck. And you inhale and lift. And you exhale and tuck and you inhale and lift. And one more time, just getting that spine nice and warmed up. Take leg number one and bring it behind you, okay? Um, if, you, if you need to, put your cooch ball underneath it for uh, support, or you can bring your leg out to check mark position. You're gonna bring your arms out to the side. I want you to spiral those arms down and around. And then we're just gonna lean over to the opposite direction and then come back up from where that front knee is. You're gonna inhale over, so spinal um, side bending or side flexion. Over you go, one of the five Pilates spinal movements. And last time, inhale. Now you're gonna stay here, and you're gonna twist your body a little bit by using this bottom hand. You're gonna thread this needle underneath, give your organs a nice little massage. You're gonna inhale, reach and actually look up to the ceiling. And then exhale, where our eyes go, our body goes. And I want you to remember that when we're going through our leg sequence today. If we look at the floor, our posture is going to be rounded downward, okay? If we look toward the ceiling, we're going to be lifted. So you want to find that nice, happy medium. And then we're going to just take these knees. And if you can, without using your hands, you're going to just swap them, okay? Now, just a minute. Let's go back. Swap them. And swap them. I do this every couple of days, like probably for about 30 seconds or a minute. It is so good for your knees, okay? Sometimes I'll just hold my legs in front like this and I'll just kind of windshield wipe her back and forth. But from a hip range of motion perspective, it's really awesome. Um, so let's go over. Another thing that I wanted to mention is uh, we sit on chairs so much. If you can get down on the floor, even eat one meal a week on the floor, inhale over. And on this last one, it makes a big difference for the health of your hips. Over you go, press into the mat. Exhale as you reach under. Inhale as you look up to the sky. So wringing out the spine and the spinal rotation. You might be thinking, why are we doing all this upper body warm up when today is all about legs, Jana? And one more time. It's because Joseph Pilates said the health of the, of the spine dictates the health of the body. And so we want to get the spine nicely warmed up. I want you to come onto your side. You're going to place your cooch ball underneath the 
kind of the middle of your shin. Now, this arm is really important. I don't ever want you sinking down into your posture. I want you to be using these nice, strong lat muscles and the serratus. And then you're gonna just bring yourself, uh, think like your top leg is longer than your bottom leg. You're gonna do um, the side kick uh, from the Pilates mat work. So you're gonna go sniff, sniff. You're gonna point your toe and you're gonna reach back, but you're gonna try not to let that ball under your opposite leg roll. Two sniffs. Exhale, reach and reach and reach, opening up the hip, accessing the glute, getting the hamstring involved. And again, sniff, sniff. One big exhale. Three more times. Exhale. Focus on that cooch ball. Don't let it roll around. Sniff, sniff. Exhale and reach. Abs are on. And they're on because they're controlling that ball. Take it all the way back. Now we're going to go to something called hot potato. So you're going to tap the back of your, or the, the space in the front of your leg and behind your leg. So you're going to go tap and tap, tap and tap. And it's kind of quick and you want to make sure you're not rolling back. Okay. When we roll back, this quad takes over. We really want to focus in on that side of the hip, the glute meat area at 10, nine, eight, control that cooch ball, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it all the way down. I want you to lengthen out, place the cooch ball now. If you want more challenge, you're gonna place it closer to your ankles. If you want a, a, you know, a nice starting spot, it's between the knees. You're gonna come all the way down. Whoa. <laughs> My ball moved away from me. Okay, there we go. These are slippery leggings. I might have to lift them up. Okay, so I'm on my bottom arm. It's outstretched. You can have a cushion here if you want. Now, again, think of that top hip reaching away. And when you think of the top hip reaching away, you might feel less connected to your mat. When you are super connected to your mat, your pelvis is not lined up, right? And when the bones of the pelvis are not lined up, the pelvic floor can't respond. I want you to lift both legs. Notice how my feet are flexed, like I'm standing on the floor. You guys, I am going to have to lift up my... I have to make my leggings capris because they are super slippery. All right, there you go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now, this hand is not a cheat. I'm actually pressing into my mat consistently. So it's not, I'm not pushing and letting go, but I'm consistently pressing down, taking this elbow away from my chest, getting my tricep involved. Let's go four, shaping the side of the waist. Three, last two. Now hold it in the up position. Now we do this little walking. It's like a little Charlie Chaplin walk. Don't lose control of the ball. If you want to challenge your core in a different way, take that bot or that top hand off of the mat. 10, nine, careful not to roll back. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way back and down. We're gonna switch sides. You're gonna place the cooch ball under the kind of halfway mark of the shin. You're gonna prop yourself up on this arm, careful not sinking into it, okay? The setup is super important. And then we're gonna give uh, two sniffs with a flex foot, point, exhale, and reach back. Two sniffs. Exhale, point, and reach back. Do it again. You're focusing on controlling or stabilizing your cooch ball. Sniff, sniff. So it's the top leg that's moving, but it's actually the bottom leg that's doing most of the work through the stabilization. And that comes through your core. And as we know, the pelvic floor is an important part of the core. It's actually the floor of your core. Sniff, sniff, and reach back. Two more times. Sniff, sniff, and reach back. Getting ready for hot potato. Sniff, sniff, and back. And one more time, two sniffs, take it back. Now point the toe, open up that ankle and you're gonna be kind of like, not choppy, but uh, like, a, like a staccato kind of movement here and here, here and here. Control the ball under the leg, 10, nine. This hand is on a cheat, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, bring that ball. Again, more challenging, closer to the ankles. 
more uh, baseline will be between the knees. Come all the way down. Let's make sure that top hip is reaching away from the ribs. So the bottom connection to the mat is light. Flex those feet like you're standing on the floor and exhale and lift, inhale and lower. Exhale and lift, inhale and lower. If your head is coming off of your arm, your body is not quite trusting the strength of your core, all right? So what you need to do is really take that bottom ear and give it a little bit of an imprint, a little bit of a press into that outstretched arm and hold it here, lift and lower. So your neck is asking for a job. It doesn't have to volunteer. Give it a job by pressing that bottom ear down into your arm. Let's go for eight and seven and six. You take that arm off if you want. Five, careful not to roll back on your bottom butt cheek. Three, two, and last one, nice job. You're gonna come onto your back. We're gonna do one leg at a time. I'm just gonna flip myself around here. We're gonna do a little bit of work for, um, this is a little bit of strength work, okay? In Pilates, we call this leg pull facing up, all right? Please listen to your body. This is a more advanced move. I'm gonna actually place the cooch ball underneath my knee. You can place it under your calf or you can place it right above your, um, your heel bone. I'm gonna go under my calf. Now you're gonna bring your arms back behind you. You're gonna press your body up, all right? Soft bend in the elbows, fingers facing forward. See how this is a little more advanced? Now you can start here with a little butt drop and up. That's a great place to start. Otherwise, you're gonna come here with me. Eight, notice the toe, point up, flex down. Seven, eyes on the horizon, down. Six. Five, try to keep your hips level. Four, three, two, and last one. We're gonna finish here doing the other side. Give those wrists a little bit of a roll. Our wrists are meant to bear the weight of our body. We just aren't using them how we should. They're not meant for just texting and typing. So um, today, even if we're here doing a little bit of a tricep press, bear some weight on your hands, through your wrists, even if it's only for 10 seconds, all right? So pop it up, here we go. Point up, flex down, eight. Point up, flex down, seven. And six. And five. Four more, hang on, keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Bring it all the way down. Give those wrists a little roll. And then all I want you to do is come onto all fours, Bring your palms on the mat, spread your fingers, fingertips are facing your knees, and then lean your butt back and give those forearms a little bit of a stretch. And give them a little bit of a roll. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me here for this leg, Pilates leg focused cooch ball on the wall session. I will see you next time.